What's up guys, Lucas here, and welcome back to yet another video. Today, I have some pretty interesting findings that I really want to share with you guys. And that is that fasting may actually lower vitamin D levels in humans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen and show you a study that I found that links fasting with impaired ability to convert vitamin D into its active form. So guys, if you're brand new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below as I'll be releasing a lot more content in the future. So let me share my screen and show you this particular study. So this, the title of the study was Fasting Induced Transcription Factors Repress Vitamin D Bioactivation a mechanism for vitamin D deficiency in diabetes. Now, what's key is that this study is actually looking at uh, energy conservation and energy management in diabetes. And specifically what they found was that both in fast, well, during fasting and a diabetic-like condition, there was a suppressed activity of the enzyme CYP2R1, which is, a, which is a, uh, an enzyme found in the liver, that's actually the main vitamin D activating enzyme um, that is responsible for converting the inactive form of vitamin D into the active form. So what they noted was that um, in terms of vitamin D inhibition, the situation is just as bad. The activation of the estrogen receptor and the glucocorticoid receptor not only inhibited vitamin D synthesis, but also increased its degradation. More specifically, a 12-hour fast decreased vitamin D synthesis by roughly 50%, whilst a 24-hour fast completely blocked vitamin D synthesis. Um, so that's quite profound. And what they also noted was that fasting upregulated the vitamin D catabolizing, which means degrading or breaking down enzyme CYP24A1 in the kidney through a PGC1 alpha estrogen, estrogen receptor alpha pathway. So quite profound. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of you that do engage in fasting and, you know, practice fasting and, I personally don't see fasting as a major issue if used uh, very strategically. However, we can see that um, multi-day fasting for someone who may be vitamin D deficient is going to be problematic and specifically um, going to be problematic in the long run. So what they found was that uh, these results reveal a novel crosstalk between energy homeostasis and the vitamin D pathway, suggesting a physiological need for the suppression of vitamin D signaling during nutrient deprivation. Uh, this may be related to the role of vitamin D in energy metabolism. And altogether, this study provides a mechanism that may explain lower vitamin D levels in patients with diabetes. So guys, if you found this video interesting or if you have any comments, leave a question below, leave a comment below. Please share the video around. My goal is to provide very cutting edge health information um, that is difficult to find on Google. So thanks guys for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.